Dude, I love this. I can't get enough of it. I'm sorry. This is so f***ing insane, dude. <laughs> What is this right now gets there's angry a and makes horrible apology video wait really Murat knows about this and I don't what the f Murat knows about something I do not know about he said your mom's dead thing is that what this is that's crazy that's actually wild that Murat knows about a story that I do the not Twitch know streamer getting tomatoes thrown at him all across Twitter for a clip that's going viral of him having an embarrassing and horrible response to one of his community members answering a question that he asked them. In Spanish, and it's chef's kiss. All right. Curvy, where the fuck have you been? Oh my God. Well, tell you what, Miss Dirty Curvy, you know what we're not going to do? We're not going to talk about it in my chat. Because it's Friday. And that is a whole big bucket of bummer. And his response is a big barrel of butt cheeks. So to give... Wait, so what happened? What did the chatter say? The chatter said like, oh, I haven't been around because my mom died. Is that what the chatter said? I mean, you asked, bro. What the f***? Bro, homie, a uh, homie said <laughs> your mom died. Okay, well, don't tell me that. Dynamic jab 13. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Allowing five people to no longer see the top of the hour ad breaks, by the way. Here's the three minute ad break now before I forget. Context to this situation here on the lore. Uh, this was a regular viewer of this streamer, an avid supporter who had taken a bit of a hiatus and was unfortunately going through a very hard time with her mother passing. So, when he saw that she was back, he asked her, Oh, where have you been? To which she just answered, honestly, but I, her mother had passed away. So, you know, it was a bit of a tough time. That's why she was taking... Let's watch the full video first. And it's chef's kiss. All right. Curvy, where the fuck have you been? Bro, this is a slow news day, dog. Miss Nerdy Curvy. I know that I'm also in the wrong a little for saying, well, my mom died in a stream after being asked where I've been, but the response just isn't it, fam. I made a tweet longer thingy to share a little background, but here you go. Oh my God. Well, tell you what, Miss Nerdy Curvy, you know what we're not going to do? We're not going to talk about it in my chat because it's Friday and that is a whole big bucket of bummer. And I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my fucking chat. Uh, thank you. Well, okay, Mr. Dirty Kirby, you said, no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world. I said, hey, what's up? Oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, see, I would never have this problem because I fuck your moms, so I would know. And I would be sad anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be sad, and Chad would be like, why are you sad? And I'd be like, because your mom died. I'm sorry for your loss, but that is not poggers. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so glad he didn't yell at me when I said my mom died. Well, because your mom is alive. <laughs> That's what makes it worse, Morgan. How are you? You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. When something really, really bad is going on in your life and in a public forum, someone asks you, hey, what's up? How are you? There are two acceptable response, uh, responses. Good, and you know what? I'll make it through. That's it. Oh, dude, this guy is awesome. Yo, I love this, dude. This dude is fucking fire. <laughs> this shit's crazy, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> He's just going in, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Shocked to find out that the 30-year-old dude with a beer castle made of empty PBR cans had a bad take. <laughs> like, we as streamers have talked about this before. Like, some motherfuckers will be like, bro, my mom died, my cat died in, like, the TTS. When someone doesn't ask about what's going on. Okay? And it is something that people do. Like, some chatters do the trauma dumping stuff, right? And it's like, okay, well... It's kind of fucked up, you know what I mean? Calm down. Like, there's plenty of people who are, you know, involved in the situation where you're just, like, kind of popped off out of nowhere and you're, like, kind of fucking up the vibes a little bit. XQC has made a joke about it. Like, the mom died, the cat died, but that's about TTS. Like, that's about trauma dumping uh, without... That's about trauma dumping without, like, having uh, someone ask for it. You know what I mean? So, that's a little bit different. This person asked a question... 
And that person responded with what had happened to them. So, like, this reaction is insane, dude. Holy fuck. Oh, okay. Now that you got your fucking sush, you're out of here. I see how it is. This Slime says, nuking a chatter from orbit like this when you were a double-digit streamer who is this uncharismatic and annoying shows an extreme level of hustle and dedication to dope-ass Friday vibes that we rarely see anymore in the space. I know Friday vibes should never be fucked with. Uh, dude, I, he's right, dude. Don't fuck with his Friday vibes, brother. Uh, uh, I, uh, I think it's because getting mental help is out of reach for so many people is pretty rough and not acceptable. No, man. He asked. He asked why she wasn't around. Like, that's entirely different. How are you? Good or? But he's still going. It's not even 56 seconds. He's still going. He said, what's up? Why haven't you been in the chat? The person said, my mom died. And he was like, oh, <laughs> I'll make sure you want to die too. That's fucking awesome. Yo, RIP to your mom, but it's fucking Friday. And how about you stop killing my vibes? You know what? I'll make it through. Awesome. Love to hear it. Dude, he's like, hey, <laughs> let me give you a quick lesson on how to cope with the trauma of your parent passing. <laughs> Dude, I love this. I can't get enough of it. I'm sorry. This is so fucking insane, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, dude. He's still going. See, there you go. Or prom's response. I, yeah, I said, prom, how are you doing? She says, I'm alive. There you go. What? What are you doing? She says, <laughs> my mom's not, but I'm alive. <laughs> oh, yo. I said, prom, how are you doing? She says, I'm alive. There you go. Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, I'm not trying to bum anyone out. So you asked me where I was. So I said, Mr. where Kirby, all I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. It's just, it's not the place to do it. That's all I'm trying to. I mean, he, like, he ain't wrong as a universal rule, but also like. This is not that. You know what I mean? Like, this was a... Whoa. Mraz over here breaking my shit, okay? That's crazy. This guy's popping off, dude. He's fucking... I like him. <laughs> He's insane. <laughs> There's a time and place for a small... Sorry to hear that chatter. Hope you're doing all right response. You've done that before yourself. But yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I get this shit all the time, obviously. Um, you know, there's thousands of your moms. Some of them I have sex with others. Moms, unfortunately pass away. You know what I mean? And sometimes you come in here in the chat and you tell me about it and I'm like, Oh, well, that's sad to hear. I hope you're doing all right. And we fucking quickly move on, you know? <sighs> but having said that, having said that, this is why he's still going I tell in. you. Like, I think if he hadn't gone in this aggressively. I don't find it funny, but I recently lost my parents. But most people, when something is so insanely crazy, respond with laughter. Please don't ban me, though. He's super nice about it as far as I've seen, though. Wait, what? I don't find it funny, but I recently lost my parents. But most people, when something is so insanely crazy, respond with laughter. Wait, why would I fucking ban you? I don't even understand. Okay, chatter. That's it. I'm just, I figured this is a good opportunity to inform you. Heavy news like that. When someone asks, hey, where have you been? You don't need to tell them, well, my dog died. My husband left me for a younger woman. My house burnt down and my car got stolen. Bro, he's doing the XQC. I thought he thought he was him, dude. I think, like, I think he thought he was him. He thought he was XQC. That's what happened. So, I've been a little bit busy. That's why I haven't been around. Because it's like, oh.
This, he thought he was him. You know, like world's record Minecraft, 16 minutes, 40 seconds. Bog. Hey man, dog died, fish died, cat died, mom died, a train derailed, plane crashed, a building uh, evic eviction. Fuck. Okay, dude. Motherfucker. Man, dude. Yo, he's wait. Is XQC silver too? What the fuck is this? Motherfucker! <laughs> He's gold. That's in beta. This was probably when Valorant started. Motherfucker! <laughs> this guy heard it from XC and wanted to copy it. Oh, yeah. God, like, ugh. Ugh. Like, you know, like, if, if someone asks, like, hey, what's up? Where have you been? And it's heavy, just be like, I had a bunch of shit going on, so I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you a new ass. Bro, this, I mean, but you did. You did nothing wrong, you didn't deserve to deal with that kind of public scolding. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, what do you mean, of course he's an asshole? What the fuck? <laughs> That's an insane response, dude. Like, I've had some bad moments on streaming, okay? I've had some bad moments while I'm streaming, and I get so fucking mad, and, like, someone says the wrong thing in the wrong time, and I pop the fuck off, right? But, like, you didn't have to go in and lay in on the motherfucker that hard, dude. Holy shit. Anyway, Charlie uploaded a video. Let's hear what his take is. Taking a, a break. And then for some reason, this must have input a cheat code into the streamer's brain that just sent him into, like, debate club. He, for some reason, then just goes into, like, this TED talk about how you- I don't think you'd like it if it was your mom. Wait, are you guys, like, fucking brain broken? No, I don't think this dude is doing the right thing, okay? I think he's an asshole. What, what the fuck do you want? What, what do you mean? It's, it's one of those instances where it's so over-the-top insane that you can't help but laugh, okay? It's, it's psychotic. Holy shit. You shouldn't answer his question if your answer is something sad because it brings down the vibes of the stream. It's baffling because you had asked her and she just answered your... I've seen you lay into people at least as hard, but you'd never do it in response to someone talking about a tragic life moment. Yes, I've said worse shit to people, but I think those people deserved it. That chatter, on the other hand, did not. What? Yeah, well, that... Well, yeah, usually when I fucking lay into people, they're like being transphobic or racist or bigoted in some serious capacity. Whereas uh, a big homie over here, all it took for him was like someone announcing that their fucking parent died, which is why they were not there. Question, honestly, uh, I'll play a bit more of the clip before getting into it, but I want to make it clear early on that I never forget. I sucked your dead cop dad's dick. <laughs> I understand a lot of streamers have a similar perspective where you don't really want someone in chat that's just talking about like a really traumatic experience they're going through because it's not really the place for it and the streamer's not the therapist. Like I do get that perspective, but there's a difference between like just a random person treating Twitch chat like it's their psychiatrist and you asking someone a question and them answering honestly, especially when it's a member of the community that you already kind of know to a certain level. I think I don't understand why you're all of a sudden getting mad at them for answering that. And I'm sorry for your loss, but we're not doing that in my fucking chat. Uh Thank you. Well, okay, Miss Dirty Kirby, you said, no, that's fine. You asked, so I told. No, I didn't ask you to tell me the biggest fucking bummer news in the world. Like, she literally apologized. Like, he could have been like, oh, that was the moment for him to be like, yeah, you know what? I'm sorry for reacting that way. Like, I'm sorry for reacting that way to your parent dying. And is that, what about the person you banned for saying you sucked at Valorant? Oh, okay, well, that person does deserve to be banned. Also, some of you motherfuckers think, like, getting banned in chat is, you know, death sentence, okay? Calm down. You're banned in chat. If you fucking hate me that much, you shouldn't write in the chat anyway. Probably better for your mental health if it stops you from fucking banned for the truth. Yeah, exactly. It's funny. It's like banned chatters think that, like, some. I'll talk about, like, being banned from Twitch for, like, the fake, <laughs> the, the bullshit copyright, right? And so many chatters will get in and be like, Duh, this is exactly like when I couldn't write in your chat about how you fucking suck. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. You know, it's probably best for you that you're banned from chat if this is the only chatting that you're doing. 
He has an apology video that's eight minutes long. That's crazy. All right. Oh, it's a really bad apology. Murat says, Murat even watched the apology World. videos. I said, hey, what's up? How are you? Fuck you, you dude. You know what? Let me give you a little bit of a lesson, Miss Nerdy Kirby. When something really, really bad is going on in your life, and in a public forum, someone asks- Motherfuckers were comparing Twitter jail to Gunna's jail sentence earlier. I don't think you'll get through to these idiots. Yeah. Asked you, hey, what's up? How are you? There are two acceptable respons uh, responses. Good, and you know what? I'll make it through. That's it. So you want to just talk to NPCs that only have two dialogue options, okay? Then why bother trying to communicate with a human being? Like, okay, give them a script. Make sure your community has the acceptable answer. <laughs> Bro, you banned me for saying you suck in Monopoly. You know, it's really funny how so many of these previously banned chatters are like 30-month subscribers. Maybe it feels like sometimes when I'm fucking popping off and I ban you because you're being a little shit, you deserve it and you recognize that you deserve it and you're fine in the fucking community, okay? So many of these fucking 30 month subscribers in here saying you fucking... What? Monopoly? The Monopoly. What did I say? Oh, did I say it wrong? I'm going to ban you in real life, bitch. <laughs> Go ahead, dude. Stop coughing. Fucking COVID ass, dude. Anyway, ban me because I laughed at you for not knowing what Rick Owens was. Okay, that's so deserved, dude. What the fuck? No shot. You have zero bans. You're such a liar. So many motherfuckers are just lying. <laughs> that never happened. You've been nuked a bunch. I've never been banned and never will be banned, but until he sees this, please give me a day off. Fuck no. But here, you can take a second off. Got yelled at. This motherfucker, this is his kink, dude. Look at him. His name is Got Yelled At. Actually, the seven-day ban you gave me in chat was just a, like a Serbian prison in the cold snow. In parentheses, I have never been arrested. You guys love getting banned. It's so weird. It's so fucking strange. I, like, I've developed a kink. This community members have developed a fucking kink over the course of like a long period of time of me streaming where they just like, they are desperate. They're vying for a ban. Some of you love having me pull your fucking detail, okay? In the middle of the chat. Some of you love getting dragged into the fucking public square, okay? I got banned for saying Nancy Pelosi boobs aren't great. That's bannable. That's a ban worthy offense. You banned me twice for showing my favorite video to you. You're so fucking mean. I'm gonna ban you right now. Like, for good? When? You don't have a vacuum at your house? Yeah, sure, you can take it. <sighs> My buddy is Chad's photographer, and you have to get banned in here, he told me. <laughs> okay, let's continue with this dumb fucking story. Okay. Your script to my stupid questions. I don't actually care where you've been. And like, just tell me one of these two canned responses. Like, this is so fucking dumb. And I also love the audacity. Let me give you a lesson here on how to handle my questions going forward. It's just so laughable. That okay, you haven't been banned either. Why is everybody lying? It was on my birthday too. What the fuck? What do you mean? You have not been banned, brother. But you've been you've been timed out ninety nine plus times though. <laughs> Most of the people think a timeout equals a ban. Yeah, they literally. Oh, dude, you are coughing so much. It's starting to scare me a little bit. What's happening? Is this new COVID? Is this COVID is back. I don't actually understand. Why do people think that they've been banned? Oh, yeah, yeah. So many of you dumb motherfuckers, like, literally get clapped by Fossabot automatically. 
Well, and that he's acting like some kind of social banned. savant here about how to handle public conversations and what you're allowed to say. You're a fucking Twitch streamer, man. All of us uh, as streamers are not exactly the most socially gifted. Like, let's just face the facts here. So why are you trying to act like the authority on the matter here as if you're some kind of social guru who's now giving a lecture to your community about what is and is not allowed in a public conversation? It's fucking goofy. It's very silly. How are you? Good? Or, you know what? I'll make it through. Awesome. Love to hear it. See, there you go. Or prom's response. I, yeah, I said, prom, how are you doing? She says, I'm alive. You know what's just as easy as those two responses is you being able to respond with some level of empathy like, oh, man, that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. Or, damn, that's awful news. Stay strong. Or, man. I don't think I have as big as a trigger finger as chatters claim I do. I even reverse like mod bans sometimes if if someone is like uniquely stupid but haven't hasn't like reached a level of hatred that's gonna derail the stream. I think I used to be way worse. I used to fucking clap ass cheeks. I'm a, I'm a lot happier and a lot nicer lately. Your chat is just huge, and you do a lot of banning publicly yourself. Yeah, your mods are so mean. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. All offliners deserve this. Okay? Every single offliner deserves this existence permanently. If there was a way that I could make all of the offliners that are like, oh, it's movie night. It's movie night. If I could have them fucking banned and unbanned simultaneously, non-fucking stop, I would do it. You got a lot better. It was a lot worse during your RP arc and Master of arc. Yes, because my Master of Art was also simultaneously while I was getting fucking my asshole obliterated by like every fucking weirdo who still constantly talks about how my chair does all the goddamn reacting. Shit, that's terrible. Hopefully today's stream can lift your spirits a bit. Like yeah, you like also literally, have they still post fucking not even the chair I currently sit in, but the old one. Really easy responses to like yeah. instead of dwell on the the negative here and for some reason try and shame her for answering your question, honestly, you could have just as easily had a very simple and empathetic response to it and, and moved on from it. But instead, now you're putting all of it on her and blaming her for bringing down the entire atmosphere. As if she somehow forced you to enter your, your goofo mode here, your insano style the tantrum that you're throwing. Like, it is your fault. You could have either not asked the question if you didn't want, like, real answers, or you could have had some level of empathy and just given, like, a general, decent response, like, damn, awful news, sorry to hear that, stay strong. And then just go about, like, a good vibe stream. Like, it's just, it's super easy. Oh, I asked you where you were. Look, Mr. DeCurvy, all I'm trying, I'm just subtly trying to tell you that unloading really heavy news in people's chats on Twitch is not like good etiquette. I'm not even kidding. I, I think like chatters unironically think that like a seven day timeout or like a two day timeout is like a ban. Like you haven't, you act like this dude low key. No man, I act like this dude high key. Okay. <laughs> Suck me dude. No, for real. Like I'll ban someone as a joke for like one second and chatters literally think like that's a serious ban. Or I'll ban someone for like two days, three days, or sometimes seven if they're if they've done something like really fucking annoying. And chatters will be like, "Oh, this is the end of the world for me." It's just it's not the place to do it. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Heavy news like that, when someone asks, "Hey, where have you been?" You don't need to tell them. Well, my dog died. My husband left me for a younger woman. My house burnt down and my car got stolen. So I've been a little bit busy. That's why I haven't been around. Cause it's like, oh God, like, ugh. Oh God, your bad news is making my easy job just a little stressful. Cause now I've heard your fucking bad news. Like, ugh. Like, can you have some level of shame? Can you stop having bad things happen to you and then share it with me when I ask? Like, fuck, God, where do you get off? How are permaban chatters supposed to tell me? You know what? This actually, this actually is is giving me inspiration. We got to do a banana peel again. Okay, uh, banana peels. I think I think I gotta bring uh, banana peels back. Dual <laughs> man is over. 
Dua Lipa kissing Jack Harlow in LA, 12-14-2022 from Stummy. So, like, what do I do here, chatters? What do I do here to stew me? Huh? What do I do to this guy? One week, perma. A lot of people saying perma. Take a day off. Fucking asshole. It's, what a stupid perspective, bro. What are you talking about? That's not even what they did. You asked them a question and they gave a simple response to it. Now, for a little further context, she, in her first response, accidentally led with like a laughing emotion. So she led with like LMAO because she was responding to like a joke he had told and then answered his question about her mom passing away. She, she got a little concerned that it was going to be misconstrued like she was joking about that. So then she clarified again that no, like, it's just been a rough time. It's just been horrible. So she said it like twice or three times in total, but it was never to dwell on it or try and treat him like a therapist or treat chat like it was a self-help subreddit or something. She just answered his question, but didn't like her first answer because she thought it might get misconstrued. So then just said like, no, it's just been bad. And that's where, that's where it was. She didn't try and like keep pressing it further or anything. For some reason he did. He took it and ran with it and made it an overwhelmingly negative thing and then shamed her publicly in front of the entire community for it. Which is so fucking weird and terrible thing to do. Now, like I said in the very beginning, I do understand the perspective of not wanting your community to treat it like it's a, like a therapy session where they're dropping really heavy things. What's your ban? What your bans look what like? What I've noticed is every single person you ban is usually not a warranted ban. You have no idea what you just said. Wait, what, what is he reading? Culture of Critique is a very famous Nazi book. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Why Did you must know you, that, Pokey? Why must you do this? I didn't know no, that. No, I just thought it was funny that you were rolling Hassan. I didn't know. See, she didn't know either. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't know. What I've noticed... It's always like that. Remember... Remember when Ray was on the stream in New York and I was like doing ban appeals or whatever, or I was like yelling at chat and she was like, wow, you really, maybe you should do a full blown, full blown amnesty day and like unban everyone. And a Turkish chatter chimed in and was like, there's Nazis in here, woman. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, she literally is like, <laughs> there's that's part of the reason why I don't like raid everyone. You know what I mean? I raid like parties that I know, uh, you know, can handle it for the most part, even if they're small. Oh, she says, sorry, not woman, sisters. That there's, that she'd unban everyone and then the entire mod team had an anxiety attack. Like, <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's just, oh man, uh, it, it, there's a lot. When we talk about politics, there's a lot of fucking people who are just like, there are people that are banned that are just fucking sitting around in here. It's awful. Yeah, there's, I would say at any given, I would say at any given moment, there's probably like a thousand people who have been banned who deserve to be banned by like every community's metric that just kind of sit here and like wait to clip shit. You know what I mean? Kind of sit here to wait for a moment that they can like catch me slip in or whatever. And then there are a lot of people in here that, I would say I've banned that have changed their perspective who are waiting to be unbanned. And oftentimes we do unban them um, eventually. Uh, you know, whenever I do like a, my yearly ban appeal or whatever. <sighs> but yeah. Hey, watches in here have more fulfilling lives than Elon Musk though. No. Have you always been fast at reading or have you learned by doing this? I'm pissed we're at it. Yeah, your yearly 20 ban appeals, we go through them sometimes to get the easy ones. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Things going on in their personal lives into the Twitch chat or asking you to solve the problems for them. I do agree that that is just not the time nor the place and that's not going to help the person either. That's not going to help them or anyone else around you that needs like professional help and someone to actually be there and qualified to give real help helpful advice to that person that's struggling and twitch chat is the last now she now she avoids you she unfollowed you i'm almost certain like the okay you want to know you want to let's see who is this 
Finnish God of War weird champ. Okay, never mind. I thought this was guy was like a band chatter. I mean, this person probably is a band chatter. But I don't even know who the fuck this person's talking about. But I think... I, I think I know. Okay. Well, are we watching the video? Oh, Holy please. fuck. Yeah, bro. We already watched the video. I already gave you the commentary on the video. Now we're just fucking around, looking at chat, talking about... Um, it's that one freak from Twitter, probably. Um, which is weird because, like, yeah, him being a gaming frog actually saved him. Um, but uh, un unironically... Um, my my band culture, I think, is is very valid. Place you'd want to go for anything real. So I do agree. Like that is never a a good case. Like that's never a good situation to be in. But that's not the situation this streamer was in. He had asked a community member that he knew a question, and it was a personal question. Where have you been? Now I'm waiting for your answer. And they explain, well, it's just been a bad time because her mom had passed away. And that's it. She didn't like keep going forward about it, like to, to try and like make it all about what she's going through. She just answered his question point blank. And for some reason, he went off the rails about it. Oh, uh, like, you know, like if, if someone asks, like, hey, what's up? Where have you been? And it's heavy. Just be like, I had a bunch of shit. What the fuck is this? I've never watched Hasanabi. If Ahmad sees this, please unban Racky Jacks. He's a friend, not me for sure. And I've heard he's very sorry and will be a better chatter. I promise. I mean, he promised. Are you fucking... Wait, what? Who is this guy? Cum guy? What? I have to look this dude up. I'm sorry. Dude, what the fuck? Previously subscribed for one month. Sex tape when? Uh, I think he's like probably got banned for Islamophobia. It seems like maybe... 30k Andy, and you had a conversation with a congressperson. I said slavery. You say sorry, slavery, sorry. Define white people keck. <coughs> Sausage big house is taken in the center square two times in one stream. What? All Muslims are good and innocent. Can you though? Mia Khalifa. It was an assumption. Is it's Hassan technically Muslim? I got called a communist fuck for saying good guys with guns don't exist. I know this guy, and I will say I've been in chat, but she dubs her issues often. This video is very one-sided, and he was over her drama. She would start all the time. I'm not trying to be biased, but she's blown it out of context for sure. I don't even know what this guy... All right, you know what? Fuck it. I'll unban him. Doesn't seem that bad. Um, She runs the uh, the Hassan Ivy posting account on Instagram that I uh, repost sometimes. Shit going on, so I've been lying low for a little while. Got it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not trying to rip you a new ass. Yeah, not trying to rip you a new ass. Just trying to embarrass you in front of the entire stream. Um, the lack of self-awareness here. Buddy, that is kind of exactly what she did. But instead of just saying, I've got some shit that I'm going through, so I saw I was lying low. She said, well, family member passed away, so I was lying low. That's it. She didn't. Even if she like trauma dumps regularly or whatever, like I think he just came across really bad. He could have just like publicly, he could have just like silently banned her. You know what I mean? If she public, if she trauma dumps all the time, you have like thirty members in your fucking community in your audience. Just like wait until the end of the stream and then ban her. You know what I mean? Like why the fuck? Because like you do have every. I'm free. My people, I'm home. I'm a top 2% chatter. Thank you, Salem. I love you. Come, guys. Free to come. No, you're not free to come, dude. Stop. I'm, I'm hitting you with a water gun. Or say you do that all the time. Context is missing to make it okay. This guy, what the fuck? Motherfucker literally came back and immediately is like, I'm the come guy. This is why you don't release them before rehabilitation. I don't think he re We don't know anything. We'll see. Maybe he won't do it. But I might actually fucking ban you again, dude. <laughs> Come on, Hossie. You can't unban cum guy and be surprised when he comes. <laughs> Continue to, like, go through the, the nitty-gritty on everything that happened. She did almost exactly what you said, but was a little more specific on exactly what that shit was. But in essence, it's the same thing. Would you have still melted down if she had said, I had a lot of bad, horrible things happen, so I was laying low for a bit? I don't think so. You probably would have just given a normal, like, decent human response. Like, man, 
Sorry to hear that. Hope that shit clears up soon. Why couldn't you have had that same level-headed, rational... What is happening on the planet when we're talking about a fucking Twitch streamer and the way he dealt with a chatter? What the fuck? Dude, it's so weird. Like, it must be, it must be a slow news week, month, everything, really. Holy fuck. Response to her just being a bit more specific with what that horrible thing she was going through was. She, again, she didn't just dump everything on you. Nobody and else is talking to, about it, to be honest, but Philip DeFranco did a story on this. Voice did a story on this. That's crazy. To, you know, like, coddle This guy just got or, blasted or, in the fucking orbit, dude. Holy shit. Do something special. Like, she just answered your question. So this is where the viral clip ends, but he did have a response to this, and it's really worse than you're probably imagining. But before getting to his response, I want to hit you with a bucket of cold water to shock you with some statistics here. 93% of all Twitch streamers pull less than 5 viewers, so anything more than 5 immediately puts you in the top 6.7% of the site. These are old numbers too, these are from 2021, so I imagine this has only grown. So why am I bringing this up? Well, because the streamer who right now is catching more tomatoes than the goddamn Heinz Ketchup Factory is not a huge streamer. At least not by most people on Twitter's definition of a big streamer. He has around 55 average viewers, and to put that in perspective, that does put him in the top 1% of Twitch, at least based on the numbers I'm seeing. Yeah, but that doesn't because mean again, anything. Because again, the vast majority of streamers are streaming to actually zero people. Crickets. You have better luck. Like every motherfucker thinks like when they're shitting on a Twitch streamer, they're shitting on like someone like me or XQC, you know what I mean? When it's like, it, it's literally like a person that is almost identical to them, but they've gotten like five friends that at least click and watch their stream, you know what I mean? Getting your old high school classmates to watch your Facebook live stream than you do getting found on Twitch and starting a community from nothing. So everyone that's just writing them off as a nobody and fuck small streamers who cares what they are saying or what their opinion is. I hate that perspective and I will always hate So you think you're better than us? Yes. I gave you a 30 second one. That perspective, the, the mentality around numbers is so like fucked up these days that they can't recognize how big i mean let's be real but who does really actually care this much i think it's a slow news day but number 55 average viewers is like yes it's not the biggest streamers on twitch but that's still a pretty large number when put in perspective with how big the market is and how saturated it is but this ties into the bigger point i want to make on the back of those numbers the do you not think that there are chatters you interpret in the worst way when they're well-intentioned and didn't deserve a ban i literally apologize all the time that happens regularly. Chat will correct if I misunderstood. Mods will correct me if I misunderstood. I apologize regularly in instances like that. It does happen, 100%, for the record. Um, and, and, you know, I'm, I'm a human being. I, want, I always, I am not infallible. I will fuck up. And um, <laughs> this guy's name is C-Word Enjoyer. <laughs> What the fuck? Why am I talking to C-Word Enjoyer? <laughs> you fucking idiot. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Anyway, um, <laughs> is this guy playing Tim Pool's album in the background? But yeah, I, um, yeah, of course. I, I can be uncharitable sometimes, especially if I'm fucking mad. But, uh, uh you know, I, we usually fix it. You're in another big boy season on talk. I can't look at this. All right, let's continue. Twitter. Wrong video. The market being as saturated as it is, carving out a community being as tough as it is, the last thing you want to do is fuck it up, which is exactly what this guy has just done. He's currently streaming right now with like 140 <laughs> viewers, which is more than he normally averages. But I imagine the majority of this is hate watchers hoping to just shit on him in the chat. And I've already seen it from a couple of his subs. Some people were saying how disappointed they were in him. And that's a really big deal because when you have a really tight-knit community, once the viewers start feeling like you don't actually give a fuck about them at all or that you're kind of a piece of shit, they probably won't stick around because there's so many other streamers that they'll just go to. So this will potentially end up being a huge problem for him. His first response was this on Twitter where he's just taking full responsibility for- In response to the Nerdy Kirby, my reaction to the news she shared in chat while I was live, my apologies to that was a cunty reaction. I shouldn't have been such a douche. I was just annoyed from my repeated trauma dumping, from the repeated trauma dumping that had been happening that week. Being an asshole, 
Which I guess is fine, like he's just saying, yeah, this was a real piece of shit here. But then 12 hours later, he made an apology video and doubled down on everything from his initial Twitter clip. Firstly, it is well known in my channel that I do not tolerate heavy news, drama, or trauma uh, dumping, if you will, being entered or dropped into the chat. This has been discussed and explained and made clear many times while I've been live over the last four plus years that I've been on Twitch. The people that come to my channel often, they know this. They see it all the time. Um, so that's something that I want to make sure everyone understands. He directly blames her for violating his terms of service for being a chatter, basically, saying, I have very strict rules. You're not allowed to kill vibes with bad news or anything drama related or heavy. Okay, then don't ask questions that could potentially lead to that's like, normal four years 55 years come on guys that's fucking normal dude there's why are you you guys are like shitting on half the people in this chat as well you know what i mean there's like a lot of people that want to you know stream on twitch or do stream on twitch and never make it past that mark and do it for years and years and years like that's normal i mean charlie already explained that that's normal that's the majority of this chat don't be mean like someone being honest with you man not everything in the world is going to be sunshine and rainbows. So why ask a question to your viewers that they might just be open about if you don't want to actually hear it? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, and why are you blaming her? You're fucking blaming the victim here in this situation. What a terrible look. When you had already in your previous tweet sang a very different tune. Where you're like, yeah, this one's kind of on me. I was a douchebag. What changed? All of a sudden now, you, what? You woke up this morning and you feel like you're not a douchebag. You're a superhero. In fact, she's the villain because she didn't follow your your strict chat rules this is not the first time that she's violated the expectation that people not share heavy news in my channel the frustration from having her argue in chat that she was quote just answering my question dude why has nobody brought up the we found the body thing behind him like the ross just for less like wine mom looking fucking thing that he has behind him what's up with that I don't know what the fuck that is. Law Lamau streamers build. Yeah, bro, I saw the streamers. Okay, that's custom. Oh, that's the channel name. Even though she's been spoken to about this type of thing before, calling this an apology is a disservice to apologies. He is literally just justifying. As I was just talking about yesterday, how we almost gave up streaming if it wasn't for Will's encouragement. Okay, and yours too, I guess. This motherfucker said only Will's encouragement. I know who I'm not fucking rating tonight when I'm done, okay? I'll tell you what. I know who I'm taking off my permanent auto host. He's sanctioned. He's sanctioned harder than... He's sanctioned harder than Iran, okay? That's right, dude. That's right. Done. Donezo. Sanctions are back on, boys. Who said that I'm banning them in Nessua's chat? Complete and total shutdown. His reaction and saying it's all her fault. She violated our expectation of her in chat and then said she has a history of doing it. And in her statement, one of her twit longer, she clarifies a bit deeper on what he's talking about. And he's pretty misleading with the way he portrays what happened here. Again, you asked her a question, she answered it. So the quote, I was just answering your question, is very accurate, because that is all she was doing, man. Frowned upon. Dude, dude I'm getting follows right now. From Joe JCKS, bro Chacho, welcome to the channel, dude. Thanks for the follow. Yeah. He even acknowledges that maybe he should edit that out and then decides not to. He should have edited that out. Respect, dude. Nah, fuck that. He's like, dude... I'm fucking caking right now with this hate train. Let's go, bro. Yeah, a, what a big yikes moment there. In your fucking apology, not an apology, in your your blaming, pointing the finger video, you get a, a follower, take a moment to say thanks for the follow and like just call out the follower during this. What a bad look. How could you not recognize that as a potential problem? But regardless, the... the I think people are taking this too seriously. I mean, straight up. Yeah, he's bad. He, he's an asshole. I mean, sure, of course. But I do think that, like, the, the punishment... Well, it's not even a punishment. I guess no one is, like, really fucking that upset over it regardless. But, like, it's just, like... 
you know, he's fucking getting roasted, roasted, getting roasted by the fucking moist man, dude. It's just, uh, I mean, holy shit. Getting roasted by Mr. Moist Meter himself. Mr. Charlie Penguinzo himself. I mean, fuck. The actual video he has made here is not a good response. It, it is somehow... Guess I found out who I'm rating after this stream instead of Nessawa, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> even worse than the initial one with the doubling down and trying to justify it. Like, just have an obvious common sense level-headed response like, yep... I overreacted, this was stupid, I shouldn't have done that, I don't even know what I was thinking, I must have just been in a bad mood. Like, like it was just so easy to move on from this, but instead, you doubled down, and now you look real silly for it. That's about it. See ya. It's just the classic, too many people think they're celebs, and in reality, very people should have anyone listen to them. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that. <sighs> what was I going to say? Oh, the Nin... The NIM Awards? Yeah, I, I, I will do that tomorrow, I think.